So you want to purchase a camera to step up your photography game but you're still wondering which one to purchase. In this video I'm going to be making a review of a camera that's relatively cheap for its specs and delivers great results. Let's go. What's going on everybody welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the Nikon D 3300 if it's still worth to get in 2021 and if it's still a good deal for you and your pocket. Before we dive into it, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell to turn on notifications so you won't miss any other further content. So, let's just get right into it with the first thing we're going to cover, that is the price, right? If you make a quick investigation of the price, you realize that the Nikon D3300 is around $300 to $330 and about the fact that it could go a lot more cheaper when it's used around say, say around $220 to $250 in eBay with a basic kit lens of the 18 to, uh, 18 to 55 millimeter lens and the 55 to 200 millimeter lens right uh, you may be able to find other higher and pricey options but that's just because it goes with bundles and uh, additional tripods and ND filters, UV filters, additional lenses, SD cards and so on right so let's dive in into the key features of this camera this camera has a fantastic 24.2 megapixel sensor for its price that is, it goes, goes with a comparison to the other competitor from Canon, for example, which is the T3i. It has 18 megapixels. This one, a Nikon, has a 24.2 megapixel sensor. It has a really great sensor for its price. Once again, I believe that's a really great point for Nikon on that end. Additionally, it has 5 frames per second continuous shooting. 11 out-of-focus points with 3D tracking. ISO of 100 to 12,800 expandable to 25,600. It also can record in 1080p from 60 frames per second all the way down to 24 frames per second and it records on the file of .mov. It also has a 3 inch LCD screen with 921,000 dots and is also compatible with a non AI lenses that Nikon had before this camera. Let's talk about the things I like about the camera. Okay, let's talk about the things, the pros that they have, that it has, right? So once again, the 24.2 megapixel sensor that has, it's really awesome. It's uh, having really great uh, image quality. I'm gonna be placing uh, some pictures over here um, so you can see them. These are the pictures I have taken with my Nikon D3300. You can see that the quality is actually pretty good and it's not bad in terms of the price of the camera. Okay. Also, the video is not bad at all. You know, the, 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 the footages and the, the cinematic videos I've taken on this camera uh, uh, on my vid on my channel have been taken with this camera okay so you can judge if you actually like the results or not in my opinion I believe it they're actually pretty good and you can get really nice results if you know how to master it properly other thing I do like about the camera is that it is super light and small in terms of other competitors you can see it right here uh, it can fit on one hand and uh, it you can travel it around it's, it's really good for traveling and to carry it with you it also has a fantastic high ISO performance it's really awesome in terms of the night night shooting and uh, long exposure shots pretty much the noise reduction you could uh, for the post processing if you shoot in raw you could get really good results with it. Now let's talk about the cons. The things I don't particularly like about the camera. I don't like the noisy out of focus sound. 
I'm going to be placing over here this clip of the very camera showing that the out of focus sound stays on the clip. Hey guys, so I came to the other room over here and uh, this is what I'm talking about when I say this noisy sound. For example, if I squeeze gently the, the shutter button, you can hear that little sound right there. For example, if I do a zoom over here in this painting, this little painting over here, if I approach so you can zoom, you can, you hear that sound? So that's what I'm talking about. In order for you to avoid that, you can use an external microphone. Say for example a shotgun microphone or a microphone directed, uh, a wireless microphone to the person you're recording so you won't get this weird type of sound in the background. The other thing I don't like about the camera is that it's not that much of uh, upgrade with the 3200. The 3200 is still a decent camera in comparison with the 3300 and uh, it's still having 24.2 megapixels and uh, also, uh, almost pretty much the same characteristics of the 3300 so Nikon didn't really make that much of an improvement out of it. That's one of the things I could say I don't I, I don't particularly quite like about it. And last but not least, the menu screen could eat up a lot of your battery. So for example, if we turn it on right here, you switch up this. One thing I recommend in order for you to don't have this camera like on charge really fast it would be going to your menu you hit this button over here and then you go to this little icon of this tool right you hit OK and then you go to monitor brightness and you can choose whether you like it all the way up or all the way down which is negative 5 for the sake of this video since I'm recording from screen to screen I leave it to negative 4 so you guys can see clearly and basically that's how it pretty much goes on that end right so those are the things I could say I like and dislike about the camera in conclusion I believe it is a fantastic camera one of the best ones for the entry-level cameras in the market the D3300 it has for uh, microphone for the microphone jack it, it also has HDMI port and uh, some other additional plug-ins so you can take the best advantage out of it. I'll be placing over here some b-rolls so you could get a sense of if you like the camera or not and the results you can get for the video. Roll it! As you can see that b-roll was not bad with some color grading and post-processing techniques. If you'd like me to do a behind the scenes or a post-processing tutorial let me know in the comments and I'll be more than glad to follow up and fill up that request for you guys. So it's actually a pretty good camera. As I said before it wasn't the first camera I got. I learned from it so much and basically it's a uh, you could get amazing results with it. You know, you are able to learn so much about photography. These are the different modes. You can see over here the different modes it has. Right now in shutter priority mode. 
and uh, this is for aperture and this is for manual the other options over here all right so it's actually a pretty good camera you guys uh feel free to let me know what you think about it and let me know if you are actually comfortable with it in terms of the price of the results feel free to check out my im profile which is essentially instagram but just for photographers i'll be up leaving in the description my im profile so you guys can check out the pictures i've taken with my Nikon D3300. Without anything to add guys, let me know what you think about this camera. I'll be leaving more links of b-rolls of what this camera I've taken. I use by the way also a gimbal which is the Seijin Crane V2 and um, let me know what you, uh, I'll be, I'll be um, doing a, a review video of that product as well. And uh, you guys let me know what do you think about it. Let me know in the comments okay, if I've missed out any information. If you want me to make it a little much more of a deeper review of this camera. Thank you so much for your attention. As I said before, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to turn on notifications. And I'll be more than glad to follow with any of your requests in the comments. Peace out.